Hi folks and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Remastered with Bretta. With our very appropriately attired companion. I mean, this is refined uh, Wow, I had never even noticed that the uh, there's rough stitching across the uh, the leg uh, rips. Uh, yes, perfectly appropriately appropriate attire for a fancy night out on town. And uh, if it's not appropriate for the tops, I wonder what the folks at the Ultralex will say. I don't think they'll dare a peep. Just look at Grandma. Hello. Hello. So, we broke the bank at the tops. There's only one casino we haven't really been to on this trip. And I'm not sure what to think of it. Not sure what to think of it. Uh, there's actually some people around here we haven't spoken to. This is the water salesman. Howdy. Interested in a refreshing beverage or a tasty snack? You sell... Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. Right. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. Ah. Any insights about this trip? Uh, you walk the streets. It's the most amazing place in the world, don't you think? This must be what it was like to live a thousand years ago. There are three casinos open for business. Gamora, the Tops, and the Ultralux. They get nicer in that order. This here's the monorail station leading in from Camp McCarran. Most of my business is with soldiers coming and going on furlough. Hmm. Do you work for any of the casinos? Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each Mr. day, House. you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots. And they know if you're cheating. I see, so Mr. House gets half of each day's take. Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat. And no one tries to kill me. Let's see what you have. A friend of the Strip's a friend of mine. Nothing worthwhile. Welcome back, friend. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, nothing else, I guess. Hmm. Ethel Phoebus. That's some fancy uh, shoes she's got there. They look very uncomfortable. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. Sure. What exactly are you up to, uh, you and him on this trip? He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. Hmm. I'm guessing they don't know much about cattle because, uh, bulls are colorblind. What is so important about Heck Gunderson? Heck Gunderson. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. Right. Where are you from? You look, uh, and speak in an unusual uh, way. Oh, a good ways west of here, in a place you've never been. Far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. Hmm. So you had... Well, it doesn't look like a very tough life. A good life, if you don't mind hard work. The only real fuss is the constant bother with varmints. Fail to catch mole rats early in their breeding, and you'll have three or four head breaking their ankles in mole rat holes every day. 
Of course, the worst varmint of all is a Brahmin baron with his hands in the pockets of a Republic senator. That's a problem you can't solve with a varmint rifle. Though I fear my husband's apt to try. He's got Heck Gunderson in his sights right now. Well, not on the strip, right? It's not my place to say much. Walter thinks this is a man's job. I swear, I won't see the day he'll get over that Heck Gunderson. Hmm. And he took your land through some sort of uh, legislative uh, contrivance. I'm done talking about that man. If that's what you want, step on over to Walter. Well, do. Howdy, young lady. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Yep. But you look more than hot. Maybe hot under the collar as well. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. What score are you looking to settle? There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. Hmm. How is he threatening other ranchers? Uh, isn't the Anciara place of law? We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make a living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. Hmm. Anything else you want to say about the guy? What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by. Much less prosper, kid. What exactly do you plan doing about it? I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. I might be able to help. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? Sure. I'll be back when I find out a bit more, uh, a bit more about him. All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. Hmm. Is this what... Uh... You wanted to help with? Good to see you again. Anyway, I could help you out. Besides, you know, whatever your uh, husband's planning. I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? Afraid not. He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see. We're the only ones in pain. I'll see what I can do. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Maybe not. Let's see. What good will come of it? Uh, I'm not sure. You want revenge? You'll end up shut down by a Securitron. Howdy. Good seeing you again. Say, you're a bighorn rancher, right? 
Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. Mm-hmm. About the wasteland? I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? How do you cope with, uh... The changing times? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands. And I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. Hmm. An anarchist. I see. Any places I should avoid? Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there. For good reasons, kid. Mountains, right. Say. Okay. What do you want to know? About you. Where are you from, exactly? Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Yeah, she just said out west. And what are your thoughts on um, being a rancher? Seeing it's your whole life. Bighorn is my trade since I was a young... Right. How about our deal? I hear you. What's on your mind? Ethel has a point that... Uh, if this Gunnarsson is really as dangerous as you uh, make him out to be... You might be digging uh, yourself into a very big hole... Potentially causing other people's deaths. Innocence. Kid, look around you. There's poison and death everywhere. And people like Heck are responsible for the misery we suffer. What right do they have to continue with their mischief and killing, huh? Well, you're just playing into their hands. Hell, a good thrashing is what I want to give them. But I see your point, kid. Things will never change without us good folks. All right. I'm going to get Ethel far away from this damn city and head back home. There's a worthy life waiting for us there. Thanks for your help, kid. So long. Hmm. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Ethel. Sorry, but I don't have time to talk right now. I'm going back to the ranch. Oh, well. They're packing things up soon, I guess. Right. Well... We're equipped. I think we've uh, emptied these out a long time ago. Stay on your feet, soldier. The Ultralux Vegas Resort. Huh. Very fancy uh, water feature. Very imposing frontage, but under exactly what's going on in here. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Of course. Every single one of them. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Where did you take them? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Good. Farewell. He seems... an artificially... Measured, an artificially measured uh, individual. Hmm. This is quite something, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so you can play games. The house out of the way. I hope someone opens the lucky 38. And they How do you fare? I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. Dealer must rotate 16 and stand on all 17s. I see. They all wear these strange masks. Hmm. They have guards. And... Huh. I'm guessing... This fella, uh... Gunderson... You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. Right. Can't sit. If the NCR ain't got to worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. I see you've got opinions on everything. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Can't say I have. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You're a rancher. Yep, got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch, but land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Hmm. Hypocrisy. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. I'd want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Hmm. Well, you don't seem like... a fine, upstanding citizen, do you? But still. How did you lose him? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Hmm. So you have a... Uh... Business at the hotel. That's between me and the White Glove Society. White but Glove let's Society. Just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. What is this White Glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. I see. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Hmm. What do you say I help you find your son? I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be willing to give you anything uh, other than your son if he is somewhere around here. Otherwise, uh, misbehaving. But I'll uh, look around. That's what I'm here for. I'll be here. And I'll be Buck. Caesar's fate was sealed from the start. How do you fare? Very well. Howdy. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention, too. 
I see. What have you got? Nothing I haven't seen before. I'm very disappointed. We'll never come back here again. Farewell. Farewell. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Well, we could break the bank. To start things off with, on a good footing. Uh, where can we buy chips? I have no idea. Oh, there's a passageway over there. They are very creepy, uh, walking around on these, uh... Ugh. The beady eyes looking at you from behind the masks. You fit right in, Lily. You're a fine, uh... <laughs> Clothing and mannerisms. Nothing but your, uh... Oh-so-delicate gait. Trudging along. Boom! 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 Suits this place like a white glove. Ah, this is the cashier. Hello there. Hello, creepy cashier. Humbly at your service. Mm-hmm. How about I get some chips? How many chips would you like? Okay, that uh, sounds... Someone that's tired of doing their job. Because it's a crap job. Maybe he's uh, one of the normals uh, in this joint. Get a thousand chips. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, now he's got a strange stone. I don't like him again. Goodbye. Pleasure doing business. That is the fakest, uh, fakest speech. Preparations, uh, I don't know if they have some sort of, uh, script they all use. They do not sound forthcoming. But... Oh, can we sit? Ah, of course we can. Greetings. Greetings to you too. Let's play some blackjack. I didn't mean to. Uh, okay. Oh, fancy cards. All right. Sixteen. They must always draw to 16. Do I take a hit? I'll stay. Alright, we're off to a good start. 8. Do we double down? Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, not great, yeah. And it lost again. Maybe I should have split that. Oof. Let's go. Very close shave. Uh. Oh my god, that's a terrible double down. And we're back to square one, okay. Oh, 
We're not even feeling lucky. Okay, we'll keep that. Now we are. Wonder how high they'll go. Oof. Maybe 3,000 uh, threshold. Let's double on that. Ugh. We'll stay and lose. Maybe we can get something like uh, 10,000 out of this place, maybe more. Oof. Not even sure what we can uh, do with all that money. Because of all the stuff we've been selling, we have a pretty good stash of caps already. And there's stuff at the gun runners. I have to say that. I don't know how about elsewhere. The cliff, we've cleaned out the store. The gun dealer by the 188, I don't think has any unique stuff. Making Ralphs. That's cleaned out. Maybe down by Prim or the Mojave Outpost. We could also check out, I mean, all the locations that we uh, will have no doubt missed when visiting the Big Empty. I'm convinced that Christine left more stuff up there. And the other courier and Elijah that we haven't found. All right, stay on that. And then roam the Mojave. There's a lot to it we don't know. Off the beaten track there is. Exactly like uh, the Phoebus as we're seeing. Going up mountains is a whole bunch of places nobody ever goes to. Like Camp Guardian. When you go there, you die. Oof. this the threshold? 3,000? No. Alright, let's go higher than that then. Not 3,500 either. Oof. That's it. Where's the guy coming over? There's always a guy coming over. There we go. I must say, fortune seems to be with you of late. Please, enjoy this. Compliments of the White Glove Society. Don't mind if I do. Atomic Cocktail. Wow, that's a fancy drink for a first uh, bank threshold. I'll take it. Ma'am, deal. Salutations. Oof. 
Ooh, that was a hard one. Come on, ah. Oh. 16, stay at that. Oof. Ah, uh, that, not good. That's not good, we're losing money. Stand on that. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Now that Yes Man is at uh, the 38, we... Hmm. I wonder if we could control anything... Uh, oh. Alright. Anything more over there. We'll talk to him once we figure out what the hell these uh, White Cuffs Glove Society people want. Or expect. Or have planned for their future. Second threshold. And there they come. You certainly seem to be making a splash with all your success in the casino. Our executive chef prepared this delicacy for you himself. Enjoy. Brahmin Wellington. I've never seen one of those before. Now, this is what I'm talking about Brahmin steak 135. And wow. Five for fifteen. Yeah, that's very good eating. Hmm, they have a very good chef, apparently. Greetings. Greetings, white glove dealer. Oof. Okay, stay with that. Didn't look promising. All right. Finally, all right. Get a positive. Ugh, lost again. Mm. 
Hmm. Worth the risk. The ten thousand chips, which is already a pretty good haul, but I mean, if it's three thousand plus per threshold, it could be at over fifteen thousand total. I'll have to see. Keep them coming. Oof. Yikes. Can't beat that Ooh. that's a very bad drop oh come on Stand on that, and yeah, I'll lose. Okay, wasn't enough. Hmm. Oof. It was very risky, but... The two ways it could break. Uh, ugh, that's not good. Well, that's better. That is... Surprisingly lucky. Oh. What is it this time? You are quite simply the talk of the casino right now with your astonishing play. Good to know. Do stay in our Bon Vivant suite so you may continue to dazzle us. The Bon Vivant Suite. Thank you. Well, we have uh, our own suite at the uh, Creepy Casino. Greetings. Maybe we'll have our own selection of creepy masks to wear. Provided. Compliments on the house. Um, deal. Oof. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to get to 15,000. Man, that was a... Oh, you're so in incredibly lucky. Well, unlucky draw for them. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. 
Those are the brakes. Well. We'll split and hit that. And stay. Hmm, thought so. Not a very good one, and... Oof. Alright. Not even that. I think it's probably 15,000, the limit. 18 Good Yeah We have banned I'm being banned This simply will not do You must leave immediately Glad you can make me rich You're still welcome to dine with us of course We've just had quite enough of paying you to play our games I should have bet we'd kill the fiend's leader. I understand that. You're a loud one. Okay, so. Broke their bank. 15,000. That's not a bad haul. Let's cash in the chips. How do you fare? Humbly at your service. I like to exchange everything in for... In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. Caps. Caps it is. Will there be anything else? That's all. 16,000. Right. Well, well, well. Well. We have learned that they pay out well. But there's something about them. It looks fancy. They talk superficially fancy. What are they hiding behind those masks is what we want to know. That, however, is going to be next time. Till then.